Hello, this is Jay Batson with Greenlight Group. Today I'm going to show you how to get started creating report dashboards in NNM Performance for Metrics reporting tool. So as you can see here, uh, we are in the reporting tool and the first thing we're going to do is use a reportlet to get the top 10 interfaces with packet errors. So we're going to go ahead and choose the top end chart report here and that's going to run so our report has rendered here and we just want to make sure we have the right settings um, you can see on our y-axis here we have the error rate average and so that's what we wanted uh, the next thing we need to check is make sure our time control is set correctly um, so when we do our URL our bookmark for our report this needs to be correct so we're going to go ahead and change our auto refresh to five minutes and submit that then our report will render again with the correct refresh settings and now we'll go ahead and get our bookmark here what we'll do is we'll copy and paste this into notepad the reason why we do that is we want to make sure that there's no extra carriage returns in our URL because that will cause the the report to fail to run now notepad only has uh, 1024 characters per line so you can see here that we're at 1024 so this is not a carriage return that's just a limitation of notepad so we're okay here so now that we have our URL we're going to go ahead and create the framework for our dashboard so we go to the BI server and then the portal now you don't want to save reports in the default folders that come with uh, the performance for metrics so we created a folder here called custom dashboards where we're going to go ahead and put our dashboard so right now there's nothing in here so we're going to go ahead and click new page and we'll give our dashboard a name and any description that you want and click next now right here we see the column, we can choose the number of columns for our dashboard, so we'll go ahead and choose two. You can see we can choose our column what's here, we'll just leave it 50-50. Now we need to add the element into each column, so we'll click add. Then we click performance BI utility, and then check HTML viewer and use our arrow button over here, then click OK. Then we need to add that element on the right side as well click the uh, BI utility HTML viewer and our arrow button and OK so now we can put uh, two reportlets side by side so, so we only got one URL but you can see where this is going to go so we'll go ahead and click next now we can give our report a title and instructions and we'll click next and we don't want to check anything here and then click finish so now we have our framework for our dashboard so we go ahead and click the dashboard here and we see we've got our two HTML elements that we had added so what we need to do is go ahead and click on the properties button here and we're going to add our URL into our URL box and we can give this one a title as well uh, we'll go ahead and add the pixels usually it's about 400 pixels uh, for these reportlets and that's just so the user doesn't have to scroll up and down uh, when this goes so we click OK there and this is going to render so we might need to add a couple more pixels we see that we still need to scroll up and down but if we had a little bit more screen real estate we could widen this up and we wouldn't have to scroll left and right uh, so what we would need to do is go ahead and run another reportlet and get a URL and add it to the right side and then we would have that so now this is saved automatically so we can go back to the reporting interface right here and if we refresh this right here we should see our dashboard show up underneath our custom dashboards folder so 
So there it is right there is our dashboard. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And then our report renders. So again, we would want to put this on a bigger screen, say in a knock area for um, text to look at, you know, have a, a main status board. Um, we could put, you know, as many as many reportlets in here as we wanted, something maybe um, a director level person would want to look at and just have available all the time to see what's going on and see if there's any problems. Um, and that's how you get started on that. So you can see where you can take this. Um, again, my name is Jay Batson. I'm with Greenlight Group. If you have any questions about this, uh, please email me at jbatson. That's J A Y dot B A T S O N at greenlightgroup.com or just J A Y at greenlightgroup.com. And we can help you out with a lot of little things like this. Thanks.